James, obviously quite unfortunate circumstances to be stood here having exited the FA Trophy. What are your thoughts after that game? Yeah, I think it's always going to be difficult. I think whatever reaction I give or, or we give as a, as a, as a two is it's going to be difficult. It's hard to take and you, you sort of stand here having dominated uh, large parts of that game but standing again here with nothing to kind of um, reason for it. And um, It's tough. Everyone's hurting. Fans obviously are going to be hurting. Um, but the players, are the most importantly, that they're hurting. So it's important that um, we've just got to try and reflect on it as as hard as it hurts. Um, and, and even more importantly, now we've got, we've got to go and um, remain and finish strong in the league. It looked as though you know things changed at half time. It, it wasn't the best first half performance, but it was a lot, lot more intense and active in, in the second half. Was, was, was that you know? something you, you look to do at half time? Yeah, I think body language is key and, and, and kind of belief. They sort of looked um, disconnected at times and we and we can we can say that's um, down to bringing kind of new players in but they're all good players and they've all got good connections on the pitch. It's just that little belief that they're going to make something happen or, or going to get something out of nothing. And, and sometimes in football the luck isn't, isn't going with you hit the outside of the post. Um, you, you can argue that there's a few things that didn't go our way but um, it's just important that Body language is key, and, and kind of they show that belief. That again, that feeds into the fans, and that feeds into the environment in in, in kind of the ground, um, which helps. Uh, but yeah, we 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 mentioned that we tweaked a few things in, in kind of putting free in midfield to hopefully get a bit closer to the ball, which happened and, and allowed us to gain a bit more control on the ball. Um, but again, it's disappointing to come in when we dominate large parts of that second half, but don't really create. Many multi, many chances or, or, or kind of big chances to go and get a result and win the game. As you say, it's, you know, we've, we've got to turn this around now, and, and it's, we said, didn't we, that the form isn't the best in the league. So we've now got two opportunities away from home to to really kick off and get that. Uh, Ross spoke about the target, didn't he, mm. to, to be safe to, to, to achieve that? Yeah, 50 points is what we want to aim for to, to kind of secure that um, safety for the next season. and it's going to be big. It's going to be a huge finish. Like we're, we're going to need everyone at this football club, staff, players, um, all got to take responsibility. But fans as well. We we, we need them, especially on, on kind of a um, made in their game. We need them to support us. And, and those home games against Gateshead, Yeovil, and, and Scunthorpe are going to be massive for us. Um, so we need their full support. But equally, we've got to back that, and we've got to make sure we've put on a performance where they can get behind us, show that belief to again um, and body language to kind of get them cheering for us and, and hopefully winning the ball into the net. Thanks, sir. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.